Junan's grocery department. You decide to call Nanako to tell her about the cooking competition. on what she wants for dinner. Psst, Nanako, pick something incredibly difficult. That way they won't be able to know how to cook it. What do I want? Um, anything's fine. She's just being modest. Ask her again. That's simple. Okay, I'll be waiting. Then again, it's simple but at the same time difficult for a simple fact. Uh, from what I understand as far as cooking goes, they say that a chef's skill is judged early on by how he's able to handle making eggs. Because eggs are very finicky. You can easily overcook them or undercook them. And since they can be made in different ways, having different kinds of knowledge on how to make them also adds to it. So, if a guy knows how to handle his eggs, then he's probably a decent cook. Fun facts! From Kagato! Nanako seems to be looking forward to it. You, however, are not looking forward to it at all. You know you'll be fine, but the rest... Fried rice omelet. An excellent choice, Nanako-chan. With a dish that simple, I doubt we'll get a second helping of Mystery Food X. And everything I just said, Yosuke apparently doesn't know about. Huh? What's wrong? Not that thing. All right, let's go get our ingredients. <laughs> making the same thing, why are they splitting up to different parts of the market? Looks like you'll need all the help I can give you. Hey, what kind of omelet are you making? I'll go get the ingredients for you. What kind of omelet should you make? Uh... Okay... I don't even know! Let's see... Orthodox... Asian American herb filled or aromatic. I forgot what kind she likes. Um, we go with herb filled, province style. You gave Yosuke a list of ingredients you'll need. Foie gras. What? And I you got there, senpai. It's a must-have for my special omelet. Don't worry, I'll let you have a taste. Ooh, or maybe I could spoon feed you. <laughs> <sighs> I heard last time you choked down something so awful that words couldn't describe it. It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Dears, who would do such a horrible thing? Hurry, say son. This is gonna be the only chance you get to gloat. Is that clear? <sighs> I'll crush you with one strike. <laughs> oh my god. I keep being reminded why Yukiko is so damn awesome. Whoa. You guys look like you're ready to enter the ultimate frying championship. Kanji kun, that's alcohol. Uh, oh. It, <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, where's Teddy? Aw, uh, poor guy won't get a chance to drink. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I get it. I think I finally got it. Maybe he was trying to get drunk so he doesn't remember how bad the food tastes. <laughs> Miss, am I allowed to eat this? Of course you can, dear. Eat as much as you like. 
You're such a nice lady. Is this one cooked already? Oh my god, he's flirting with the... Ugh. <laughs> this one's ready, too. Oh my, are you hungry for more? Here, I'll open this one, too. You're so beautiful. <laughs> Teddy, get your ass over here now. Oh my, no. No, I mustn't. I've got a husband and a son. But I really want this meat, and I want you to cook it, miss. Ah! Oh, I couldn't possibly. The manager would get so upset. I'm gonna knock the stuffing out of that bear. <laughs> I'll join you. Well, I guess you gotta hand it to Teddy. He finally managed to... Be able to hit on ladies, even if he is hitting on an older woman. Then again, Japanese women, they're, they could be like 50 and they'll look like they're 20 years old. Risa chan was right. This celebration does make me feel like it's over. The case really has come to an end. <sighs> It's really Risa-chan! I should go back over there soon. Are you going somewhere? Yep. The guys kept their promise. A promise? Huh. What if you made a promise with me? Could you stay then? A promise with Nana-chan? Um, a promise that you'll play with me. How about that? Sensei, you kept your promise with me. So I should go back over there. Hmm. I forgot all about that. But a promise is a promise. It's not good to break them. It'll be lonely. You promise not. Don't go, Teddy. <laughs> Sensei. Don't you dare go, or else I'm gonna take your head. And I'm gonna bash it against the wall. <laughs> My promise with Nana-chan. I made a promise to play with her. Can I really stay here? It wasn't just my promise. Nana-chan made it with me. I'm really, really happy. Just don't start crying. Thank you. Teddy's eyes are... You're crying, aren't you? Quit your crying! Be a big boy! Rank 4. Yep, we're only at rank 4 of this, and it continues automatically. So yes, we certainly caught the killer, alright, mm-hmm. Yosuke, I have a new promise to keep, so I want to stay here a little longer. Is that okay with you, sir? Huh? What are you talking about? You're not going anywhere. You can't just quit your job like that. In any case, if you left... It's ready! Incoming food! Out of the way, senpai! <laughs> Oh, no. Well, well, wait a sec. Asking Nanako-chan to jump in and try these for us is kind of unethical. Don't look at us like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's our job to taste it first. Make sure we can keep it down. Hey, that's mean. That's true. Then try mine first, Yosuke Senpai. It's guaranteed delicious. Guaranteed something. You don't mind me going first? Actually, I've been looking forward to yours. I mean, Rizette cooked it herself. Can you imagine how many guys would kill me if they found out? <laughs> That's if you survive. Well then, chow time! Mm. 
<laughs> I, I can't give this to Nanako-chan. Oh, it's so delicious that you won't let anyone else have a bite? In any case, you should try eating it too. It's spicy. The spiciness and heat are like lava in your mouth. You can't taste or feel the foie gras at all. It's starting to taste like iron. For some reason, you sense a dull pain in your mouth as well. So she essentially created a lava omelet. Which, okay, I'd probably like. I like spicy stuff. But Nanako, oh boy. You can't give this to Nanako. Here, try mine next. I'll take this one. Kanji, that's a lot. Hey, say something. Well, he took three bites. Well, uh... How do I put this? It tastes really... Um... Boneless? <laughs> what?! What? That's not a word you use to describe taste. Does it taste good or not? Tell me. It doesn't seem to be dangerous, but you don't sense any flavors in particular. In fact, you don't taste anything at all. You can't even taste the ingredients. How could this be? <laughs> not good, uh, that's for sure. It tastes like... Like I'm eating plain oatmeal. It's pretty impressive that you put so many ingredients into a dish and it came out tasting like nothing. Your palate just isn't refined enough. Damn! I think it tastes good. Oh, Nanako's just trying to be nice. <sighs> Nanako-chan. Okay, try my next. Oh god, no! Uh, I don't know about this, but I, I think it'll taste good. This time, for sure. Oh no. I'll give it a whirl. How is it? Wow! This tastes awful! <laughs> 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 ah, that's awesome. <laughs> you have to try this, Yosuke. <laughs> uh, Dude, not after you say that. <laughs> that's something. It's like, wow, this is awful, man. You gotta taste this. It tastes like crap, man. <laughs> oh God. Aha, uh -huh, I see. It does taste awful. Well, um, it's a huge improvement over the curry. Hey, you're moving in the right direction, at least. Yeah, thanks for the consolation. I feel so much better. No, Nanako, no! I think this tastes good, too. Uh, Nanako, you're a trooper. Chan. Oh yeah, they're right. They're totally right. It tastes awful. <laughs> <laughs> well, Yukiko, at least it has a taste. Then try Risa Chan's. I bet you anything mine tastes better than hers. It'll burn off your taste buds. strike well Yukiko and Chia's didn't taste good either but at least theirs didn't cause any casualties <laughs> <laughs> uh, good point <clears throat> it's a taste 
too subtle for kids. It's a mature flavor. You guys are just kids. I... I... <laughs> Quit your crying. Be a big girl. Oh no! Nanako, no! Oh no. Nanako is a trooper. She really is. I knew it. Nanako chan's the most mature person in this room. Compared to you, yeah. Crocodile tears? <laughs> oh, yeah. Didn't you make one too, senpai? You did? Oh. Well, let's see if it's any good. It seems to have come out pretty well. She's eating it cheerfully. Nanako finished your omelet. Are you full, Nanako-chan? We're still starving. If you're so hungry, then help yourself to an awful tasting omelet. Hm. Uh, I have a suggestion. You guys know about the festival they're holding in the shopping district, right? Why don't we all go? Oh, that sounds good. Whoa. Does that mean the girls will be wearing yukata? Uh-huh. A festival? We'll bring Nanako-chan along, too. I can come? No, you stay here and watch TV and we adults will go out without you. Yes, you can come! settles it then festival food always tastes great for some reason even if it ain't anything fancy that's because it's greasy goodness Whew. we'll finally be able to get some edible food for once yeah from now on I do the cooking you promised the others you'd go to the festival at the shopping district the culprit has finally been caught the rest is up to the police inquiry. The festival is on August 20th. You made sure not to forget this date. All I can do for now is wait for the police to make their move. What should you do today? Well, it's Tuesday, so uh, I guess I'm gonna go hang out with people. Let's go to town! Time to do some social angst! What happened to the music? Why is it so quiet? Kanji's not around. Unless he's at the floodplain. Yeah, let's check out the floodplain. Let's see who's there. Otherwise, I'm going to be spending my time with Yukiko and Chie. Do, 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 do. Anyone here? There's the dog. I still don't know how to feed him anything. I'll have to look that up later. Cat! Wait, feed the cat was a quest, right? I'm not carrying any pet food. You need to be more prepared. Where do I get pet food? I guess I'll go into town and check out that store and see if they sell pet food. Wait a second. I have an idea. This store sells meat-like products, doesn't it?
Buy it less on a rainy day. Okay. Grilled steak. Steak skewer. I believe the steak skewer is one of Chie's favorite things. For obvious reasons. Alright, let's try the Shiroku store and see if there's any pet food here. Nope, nope, just medicines and such. Well then! Let's hang out with Yukiko. Oh! Oh, Kakadokun! I didn't see you here very often. Seems she has some free time. Alright, I got a priestess arcana type. That'll make things go faster. Tatsuhime Shrine! Yukiko brought you here, saying she w wanted to pay her respects. I come here every so often. It's nice and quiet. I visit here with the waitresses, too. Like before a big guest arrives. We make our annual Hatsume visits here. Hatsumo, Hatsume, whatever that is. The, the exam charm was here, too. Once I leave this town, I won't be able to come here again, will I? You're not coming back? Uh-huh. I mean, I couldn't face my parents again. Yukiko looks sad. Oh, Yuki-chan! Oh. Kasai-san, what are you doing here? Taking a little break after ordering from the liquor store. Uh, so now you know. <laughs> oh, I won't tell. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, is this that rumored boyfriend? I see, that hard work in the kitchen paid off, huh? Huh? It's not like that! Wow, your face is burning red! Well, I'll let you two be alone! Sheesh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, that was one of our waitresses. They all had the wrong idea. I'm really sorry. They're not mistaken. Huh? <laughs> uh, stop that. That kind of joke's not very funny. Yukio seems to be sweating unnaturally. kasai -san is teaching me how to cook, along with the other waitresses and chefs. I said I'd learn on my own, but I kept messing up. I burned myself a couple of times. Please let us teach you, they said. It's usually the other way around, you know. They use up their break time for my lessons. They're so nice to me. When I was halfway successful one time, everyone gathered around and taste, uh, taste tested it, saying how good it was. I didn't know what to say. I was just so happy. This is after she ruined the omelet, by the way, I hope. Otherwise, I don't even know what to say. Plus, I have my friends at school. All things considered, I'm pretty lucky. I want to do my best, for everyone's sake. You sensed a quiet passion in Yukiko's smile. You feel that you understand Yukiko even more. What rank am I? I think that's rank 8. Nope, 7. Level 7! But I'm trying to leave, betraying those who've been kind to me. I can't help that, I suppose. Bye. You hung out with Yukiko and walked part way home together. Welcome home. Can't hang out with you, so off to tutoring. Yeah, 
Yeah, generic. I should probably fuse myself a tower persona to make that go a little faster. All I can do is wait for the police to make their move. What should you do today? Let's find out. It's a Wednesday. Ooh, I got a phone call. Hello, it's me. I want to go somewhere. You'll come, right? Uh, sure. Hmm. Cool. Don't be late. You decide to go out with I. Against her will. Because she will kill you if you do not. Well, let me grab my collar and leash, then I'll be on my way. Okay, the station. You came here with I. So, what did you want to do? I'm getting kind of tired of this place. There's nothing left to do here. Um... I agree. Huh? Hey, you're not allowed to get bored. I chose you to come here with me, so you better enjoy it. Uh-oh. Oh, senpai. Eh? I didn't think you'd have time to be making small talk with other girls. Uh, excuse me, Rise. But, uh, I hardly know you compared to this other girl, you know? Even if she does kind of drag me around like a dog. Shut up. Damn. I believe Kagato is talking to me. It's rude to interrupt. What's wrong with you? Don't you dare talk to other girls when you're with me. Damn! You've had an exciting day. You feel your relationship with Ai is going to become closer soon. You spent some precious moments with I against your will. Oh, welcome home, big bro. All right, Nanako, let's see what you got. Um, Nanako looks as if she's not doing anything. Let's try it. Will this be the end? Yes! I got a phone call from Dad! He's coming home! Let's make dinner together, big bro! There's a lot to do today! Nanako is more cheerful than usual. I bought a bunch of dishes, pickled radish, and veggies and Judas! Judas, Judas, Judas! Big bro, can you make a salad? Uh... I eat salad for breakfast! It's dinner time right now! Nanako looks at you puzzled. <laughs> we have to start eating. <clears throat> we have to start eating our vegetables from now on. A well balanced diet is important. Nanako confidently repeats as this. She's her. I can't read! My teacher said that families help each other. After mom died. Dad and me have both been lonely, but... But I have Dad! And I need to do my best so Dad doesn't feel lonely either! You're my family too, so let's work hard together! But I'm not your mom! <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be mean. Let's do it! Let's do this! <laughs> You obtained family picture. It has Nanako and her parents in it. Dad made us crappies. You're family too, so you should have a family picture. Let's get a picture of you, me, and Dad all together one day. <laughs> I love you, big bro. Aww. And I love you too, Nanako. You feel a warm sense of love from Nanako. 
you can feel a tight bond between yourself and Nanako. Rank up to the max! The genuine bond shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create uh, Sraosha, the ultimate form of the Justice Arcana. The Nanako Dojima Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Nanako Dojima Social Link. Your power to create Personas of the Justice Arcana has reached its maximum. Kagado Chirai has formed a bodge... Uh, formed a bodge? Yeah, a bodge! That cannot be broken. By mastering the Justice Social Link, you can now fuse Sarosha, the Scourge of Evil. A bodge. How did I come up with that? We need to hurry or dad will be home before we're done! Make that salad! Make it now! I'm home. Daddy, daddy, daddy! Welcome home! Yeah. I made dinner with Big Bro today! We made a salad and uh, a bunch of other stuff! Yeah! I see. Good work, Nanako. Go wash your hands! Hurry and sit down! Hmm. She's really cheerful. I'm sure it's thanks to you. Daddy, big bro, hurry, hurry, hurry! Eat your food! <laughs> I got it, I got it. Let's eat then. The three of you sat around the table and enjoyed each other's company. 